Okay, this is going to show you how to make your own 11 step uh, step wedge of different densities from 100% uh, down through zero. So 190, 80, 70, etc., etc. Um, so go to Photoshop and make a new document. And let's think in terms of inches and how wide. So 11 inches, we'll have one inch per step. And I'm going to make it three inches tall. And I'll keep the resolution at 300, at print resolution. A lot of people are using, uh, say, 360. If you want to use that, that's fine. But I, I'm sticking with 300. Color mode. Uh, we are thinking in terms of grayscale. But I'm going to keep it in color. Because a lot of people are screening a color over uh, their black and white uh, negatives uh, to block out more UV light. So let's uh, keep it in RGB color. So that option is still available. And the color profile I like to use is Adobe RGB, the 1998. If you're used to using uh, Profoto or that sRGB, um, that 1966 thing, go ahead and use that. But uh, I think R Adobe RGB is the most um, common. And I might as well name it while we have this. 11-step uh, wedge. Okay. <clears throat> Now see, I've got the grid up here. You definitely want to make sure that the grid is showing and you want to make sure you can snap to grid. It makes uh, this whole thing move a lot faster. And we want to make sure the layers is showing. So there's the layers. All right. Now go over here to the uh, rectangular, mar rectangular marquee tool. And instead of normal, we want a fixed size. Now, we want to make a one inch by two inch uh, square. So, one inch times 300 pixels, that's 300. Two inches times 300 pixels is 600. So, if I click here to the left, I get a one by two inch square. I just move that, see how that snaps in place, snapping to the guides? There. So, I've got a one inch by two inch square. Now, I've got to fill that with something. So pick the fill bucket and the color selector. And I like to use only web colors just to make sure I have 100% black. See over here in the RGB 000 and this number 000, that's 100% black. Now I'm going to fill this square and that's 100% black. Okay, that's all we need. That's layer one. I'm going to label that by double clicking on it and label it 100%. Okay. And if I pick that up and drag it down to create a new layer, 100% copy. I just repeat this basically 10 more times. I'm going to do some labeling. And designate these densities. They're not there yet, I'm just getting it set up. Okay, now what you want to do with each one of these is drag them over. See how they snap to the grid? Now that fits right next to the 100%. So the 90%, which we're on, fits next to the 100%. But it's not 90% density. It's 100% black. And go up here to opacity and make it 90%. And now it's 90% density. Do the same thing with the 80%. Drag it over. And 
and make it 80%. Get rid of this marquee tool here. There. 70% we drag over and make it 70%. And just keep repeating that process all the way across. Make the 60 match 60. Move this out of the way a little bit. Okay, now that looks a little thin. That's because uh, we have a transparency in the background. Um, Now what happens when you flatten the image, or actually merge visible, sorry, flatten the image works better, flatten the image, and get rid of the grid just so you can see it, now you have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 percent density. Um, and you should label them. I would, I would suggest using uh, white numbers uh, from 100% to 60 or 50% and black numbers from 0 to 40 or 50%. Um, I like to make a smooth gr uh, gradation also. So select the rectangular marquee tool, make sure it's on normal, and I go from extreme left to right and then select the paint bucket tool, hit the little arrow down here at the bottom right so I can go to the gradient tool. Now I can make a gradient. Now the gradient's going to be from 100% black to 0% density, which is white. And just go from one end to the other. And I've got a nice gradient. Okay, and that's really all there is to it. You could obviously make a smaller and smaller steps. You can make it in increments of 5%, 2%. Um, you know, increments of 5% is probably your most accurate from a practical standpoint. I think smaller than that, you don't necessarily need it. Okay, and that's how you make your own step wedge. One of the things you need to pay attention to, though, is your color setting. Okay, remember we opened it and made a new document in Adobe RGB? You want to make sure your color settings in Photoshop match uh, your document, Adobe RGB. And gray, this is going to be important, gray gamma 2.2. Okay, so we're going to document that that's the gray gamma. <clears throat> and it's worth doing down here. Adobe RGB 1998. Gray Gamma 2.2. Okay, document it somehow. So if things, you know, if you get mixed up in the future, at least you know um, you can check your uh, your color space or your your color settings. And uh, if there's a mismatch, that may solve your problem. You can you know by making them match. Okay, that's it. It's uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, good luck.